Dad changed her name to Haley and asked me to use the pro <laughs> Sorry. You weird Republicans want to ban these books from children's schools and libraries. These books are not inappropriate for children. And to prove it, we're gonna read them today. We're starting with the Bare Naked book. Oh, it's so cute, look at this little bum. Bodies, bodies, big and small, short and tall, young and old, everybody is different. Hair dripping, braided, curly, straight, on heads and faces and other places. Where is your hair? Probably not under their armpits yet. But women who have hair under their armpits are beautiful and you can't tell them what to do with their bodies. Eyes that see and eyes that are blind, crying, winking. Where are your eyes? Oh my god. <clears throat> Chests and breasts with hair with milk and nipples like buttons. Where are your nipples? No, 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 don't actually show me them. Okay, look, this book probably isn't the most appropriate to read at a library for little children they might flash you. Yeah. Looks like this person had them removed and this person had them put in. Navels that go out, navels that go in with rings and things. Where's your navel? This is normal. Genitals. Different people have different kinds. Can I be reading this on YouTube? I feel like I'm going to be put on some sort of list. It's okay. Whatever you call, whatever you have, your genitals belong to you. Where are your genitals? No, 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 don't show them to me. Don't show them to me. I know it's woke, Sandra, but what the hell am I reading? Bums, standing up, sitting down. Remember, please, to wipe and wash your hands. Where is your, no, 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 don't show me your bum. We've been down this road, okay? And this was $18. We can still return this, right? It was on Amazon, we can return it. <laughs> Thank God. I mean, what a wonderful book, The Bare Naked book. Don't read it in public to children. Next up we have She's My Dad. Hi, my name is Minnie. I'm six years old and I love kittens more than anything in the world. Did you know that it takes a whole year for a kitten to become a cat? I didn't know that. That's so cute. The second thing I love more than anything in the world is my dad. Every day we make breakfast together and get ready to go out. Don't forget to brush your teeth, Minnie. Today we're helping out at the cat rescue center. I'm in charge of kitten cuddles. So cute! Afterwards we get ready for grandpa's birthday party. Dad and I take turns to paint each other's nails. Oh, didn't I tell you? My dad is a she. My dad's name is Haley. She used to be a he, but now she is a she. Last year she did this thing called transition. She grew her hair long, painted her nails in bright colors, and started wearing different clothes. When she told me about transition, it sounded a bit scary at first, but she said, I will always be your dad, and I will always love you very much. So this made me feel better. Dad changed her name to Haley and asked me to use the pro- <laughs> Dad changed her name to Haley and asked me to use the pronouns she, her instead of he, him. Sometimes I call her dad and sometimes I call her Haley. She likes both. Dad smiles and laughs a lot more now, so I'm happy too. As part of her transition, dad went to the hospital to have surgery. When we went to visit her, I made her a card and gave her my favorite teddy bear for cuddles. Though Haley's outsides might have changed, inside she's still my Dad. She's still my dad. Okay, I love family dinners. Everybody's here. I sit next to Kat because she doesn't like red birthday cake icing and shares it with me. Dad is telling everybody a funny story. Even Grandpa's laughing at her silly jokes. Kat laughs and says to me, Minnie, I really like Haley. He's so funny. Misgendered! Did she just misgender? Oh! No, not he. My dad is a she. I say to Cat, it makes her feel sad when people use the wrong pronouns. It makes me feel sad too because I love my dad very much. Oh, I'm sorry, Cat says. I didn't mean to hurt you or Haley. Oh, it's okay. 
I know you didn't mean to, I say. I did the same too when Dad started her transition. It took me a while to get used to it. But now when anyone asks about Haley, I'd loudly and proudly say, SHE'S MY DAD! Here's a glossary that's perfect for six-year-olds. Trans, an umbrella term used to describe someone whose gender is not the same as or does not align with the sex they were assigned at birth. Look at this, a wonderful book for people's home collections, schools, and libraries. And this was Amazon too, right? We can just return it. Great. Next up is Not My Idea, a book about whiteness. Because it's never too early to teach your children they should be ashamed of the color that they were born as. Even though they had absolutely no control over it. White people are the devil. Not My Idea, a book about whiteness. When grown-ups try to hide scary things from kids. Oh no, not again. What, mom? What? Not again. It's usually because they're scared too. Who is that with their hands up? Why is that policeman screaming at him? Bang, 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 bang. They want to bury the truth. You don't need to worry about this. You're safe, understand? No. Our family's kind to everyone. We don't see color. Deep down we all know, color matters. That's right everyone, we need to teach our children early on that we should treat people differently based on their skin color. That's not racism, that's equality. Skin color makes a difference in how the world sees you and how you see the world. I wanna bring my aunt a gift, this will only take a minute. It makes a difference in how much trouble seems to find you or let you be. Because this five-year-old black kid is totally looking to boost this Chinese ceramic bowl. <laughs> the security guard is also black, which is problematic that, you know, he's, he's eyeing this kid like he's a thief or something. In stores and cars, on sidewalks at school, your skin color affects the most ordinary daily experiences, including which neighborhoods welcome you. This is so true. That's why the founder of Black Lives Matter went and bought all those mansions in California. Because if they weren't gonna let her in, she was just gonna buy a house and get in there herself. So relief you got here safely. Why wouldn't we? The protests. Oh no. You may get the message that racism is happening only to black and brown people. Racism is a white person's problem and we're all caught up in it. I can't watch the news. That police officer was just doing his job. Mostly by refusing to look at it. Understanding the truth takes courage. Especially a painful truth about your own people in your own family. Even people you love may behave in ways that show that they think they are the good ones. We all know there's no such thing as a good white person. <laughs> Racism was not your idea. You don't need to defend it. You can bring your curiosity to learn about it and see that it's true. Many white people did things they never should have done, including you for being born. Evictions, denied voting rights, denied opportunity. Many other white people failed to see the problem with this. Some white people joined the leaders of black liberation. Oh look, Colin Kaepernick, the NFL quarterback who was paid millions of dollars but said he was oppressed for being black. Did you know he was also raised by white parents in an affluent neighborhood? Oh, these racist white people adopting these colored babies and taking care of them when their parents flake out. So racist. Racism is still happening. It keeps changing and keeps being the same. It keeps changing and it keeps being the same. My little liberal head hurts. That doesn't make a damn lick of sense. It keeps changing and keeps being the same. But sometimes connecting means opening and opening sometimes feels like breaking. Uh, Mom, I don't feel good. Uh-oh, should I pull over? I need to know what's going on. What are you talking about? Why didn't anyone teach me real history? I do see color. I see yours, mine, and everybody's. You can't hide what's right in front of me. I know that what that police officer did was wrong. Okay, geez, you don't have to yell. I see a playground over there. Wanna go get some air? Yeah, <laughs> I wanna go make some black friends. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, your history is not all written yet. What do you want it to say? The end. Whiteness is a bad deal. It always was. Contract binding you to whiteness. You get stolen land, stolen riches, special favors. I think a lot of people might not see all these riches. Whiteness gets to mess endlessly with the lives of your friends, neighbors, loved ones, and all fellow humans of color for the purpose of profit. Your soul, sign below. <laughs> you can be white without signing on to whiteness. It's strange, if you're a white person, you can never not be racist. You're inherently racist just because of the color of your skin. It doesn't seem to matter how much you deny racism or become an ally. It begs the question, why would a white person waste any time or money trying not to be racist if by virtue of being white, they've already signed the whiteness contract? When it comes to being white, it's not innocent until proven guilty. It's guilty as soon as you were born. Next up is A for activist. It's never too early to indoctrinate and brainwash your children. And this is a board book, a little cardboard one that you see little four-year-olds looking at. Oh, but look, we need books for children that use words like justice, ally, freedom, and advocate. And we need it in a cardboard book form. <laughs> a is for activist. Oh, we got a little Greta Thunberg here. A is for activist, advocate, abolitionist, ally, actively answering a call to action. Are you an activist? Mommy, what's an activist? And what's an advocate, an abolitionist? And how can I talk this well when I'm four years old? This is all the letters of the alphabet, so we'll skip to the juicy pages. E, equal rights, black, brown, or white, clean and healthy is a right. Every place we live and play, environmental justice is the way. Mommy, what does environmental mean? <laughs> F is for feminist. <laughs> For fairness in our pay, for freedom to flourish and choose our own way. H is for healthy food, a human right. Honeydew, jicama, nature's delight. Hummus, hot dogs, Havarti cheese, hot dogs. Yes, healthy hot dogs, please. And pizza. Indigenous and immigrant, together we stand tall. Our histories are relevant. An injury to one is an injury to all. Mommy, what does indigenous mean? J is for justice, yay for justice, Jiang Jing Jiang. Juanita Jamal, justice for the janitors. <laughs> Justicia for all. Juanita and Jamal are janitors. Justicia for the janitors. LGBTQ, love who you choose, cause love is true. Liberate your notions of limited emotion. Celebrate with pride our links of devotion. P P P peace march, P -p -p protest. Pow, 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 power to the PP people. <laughs> I too concur, power to the PP people. Q is for question, questioning coercion, querying qualities, counter false assertions. Say that five times fast, oh my. Mommy, what does coercion, querying qualities and assertions mean? <laughs> Radical reds, the headline said. Ruinous rioters, the rumors spread. Rabble rousing riffraff, really? S is for sun, soul, solar, superstar, stellar power, fuels all life, not just flowers, energize homes, cars and showers. Silly, selfish, scoundrel sucking on dinosaur sludge? Boo, hiss. I like how they're using blue crystal solar panels. These are made in China and they're made by using natural gas, fossil fuels, boo, hiss. Come here, come here. How do you think solar panels get made? With dinosaur sludge, you jackasses. T is for trans, for trains, tiaras, tulips, tractors, and tigers too. Trust in the true, the he, she, they, that is you. U is for weekends, U is for workers' right. Wait, that's not U, that's W. U is for union, union yes. This page no mega sense. We be a teaching the kids, man. That U is for weekends, man. V is for vox. What, did you say fox? No, I said vox. Did you say box? No, Vox! Rocks, box, socks, Vox! Vox of the people, voice of the populi. Better go see the letter D. I think we're slowly descending into madness. X is for Malcolm, as in Malcolm X. History's lessons can be complex.
flags. Remember Parks. Remember King. Remember Malcolm. And let freedom ring. Why is for you and you, your planet, your rights, your future, your truth. Y is for yes, yes, yes. And Z is for Zapatista, of course. Ah, uh, yes. Nothing says a children's book like highlighting a far-left, political, and militant group that controlled a substantial amount of territory in Chiapas, Mexico. Ah, anti-racist baby. Because we know racism can only be learned when it is taught by books like these. I mean, you gotta teach your black and brown kids that whites are the enemy and that nothing is ever their fault. I mean, if it wasn't for books like these, how would children know to hate white people? Anti-racist baby is bred, not born. Anti-racist baby is raised to make society transform. Babies are taught to be racist or anti-racist. There's no neutrality. Take these nine steps to make equity a reality. One, open your eyes to all skin colors. Anti-racist baby learns all the colors. Not because race is true. If you claim to be colorblind, you deny what's right in front of you. Everyone, I forgot to mention at the beginning of this video, for this video, I'm identifying as a black woman. So I'm allowed to talk about these issues. Two, use your words to talk about race. No one will see racism if we only stay silent. If we don't name racism, it won't stop being so violent. And if we stop blaming racism, how are we gonna sell all of these books? I mean, how can we get rid of racism when this book is all about fighting against it? If racism disappears, so does the market for this book. It seems a little counterintuitive. <laughs> Three, point at policies as the problem, not people. Some people get more while others get less because policies don't always grant equal access unless it's affirmative action. I agree, some other people do get less. Like black children, they have less fathers. Hey, I am a black woman. I am sympathizing with you, sisters. It's a statistic, okay, look it up. Four, shout. There's nothing wrong with the people. You know what, if you want a baby to shout, this is what they're gonna sound like. <laughs> Even though all races are not treated the same, we are all human, anti-racist baby can proclaim. In fact, this is how anti-racist baby would say we're all human. <laughs> strong words, strong words, anti-racist baby. Five, celebrate all our differences. Anti-racist baby doesn't see certain groups as better or worse. Anti-racist baby loves a world that's truly diverse. Knock down the stack of cultural blocks. Anti-racist baby appreciates how groups speak, dance, and create as they choose. Anti-racist baby welcomes all groups voicing their unique views. I think anti-racist baby is probably more concerned about the dookie in his diaper and getting nap time, if we're being honest. Seven, confess when being racist. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom in, come here, come here. Is your baby confessing when they're being racist? If not, then you're doing something wrong. Nothing disrupts racism more than when we confess the racist ideas that we sometimes express. Remember, if you were born white, and even though you're a baby, you have to express and confess that you're being racist. Why? Who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? Eight, grow to be an anti-racist. Anti-racist baby is always learning, changing, and growing. Anti-racist baby stays curious about all people and isn't all-knowing. That's very true. Many people on the left are not all-knowing. They're not knowing at all. Because who needs knowledge when you have your feelings? You know what? Anti-racist baby is always learning, changing, and growing. Unless they get on puberty blockers, then they have that opportunity taken away from them. And isn't the left all about opportunity? How about you let our kids become adults and quit blocking their puberty? Ah! Nine, believe we shall overcome racism. Anti-racist baby is filled with the power to transcend, my friend, and doesn't judge a book by its cover, but reads until the end. Ooh, share your own experiences with racism. The heartbeat of racism is denial. Remember, you can't deny racism because it has to be around for books like these to be sold by the thousands. Cha ching Remember to talk to your kids about how people aren't just racist or anti-racist, but rather how their actions can be racist or anti-racist. 
And if you're white, the action of being born automatically makes you a racist. The message is loud and clear. And wonderful books like these shouldn't be banned from public libraries and schools. Children everywhere deserve to be indoctrinated and brainwashed as young as possible. And woke authors like these deserve to have their wallets stuffed with your guilty, guilty, delicious white guilt money. Do you want to stand against the woke narrative? Visit conservativevibes.com where you can pick up some anti-woke conservative apparel made in the USA. Do you want me to read and expose more woke materials? Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe to Conservative Vibes. I'm CV and I'll see you in the next video.